What's going on guys? Thomas from My Scent CI stopping in to share finance with y'all today. I just ran across these fragrances at Burlington. So I said let me hop on the platform and share with my people and let them know what it is that I came across today. So the fragrance we'll be discussing today is from the House of Milestone. We have Big Intense Bottle for Men and we also have E plus element three plus sandalwood. Now, guys, if y'all interested in this discussion, stay tuned. We're going to dive right into it after the intro. All right, welcome back, guys. For those that are returning, I appreciate you. For my new subscribers to the channel, welcome. On my channel, we discuss all things fragrance, whether that be fragrances from your local uh, rack room stores or fragrances from your online discounters. Your local rack room stores are Burlington, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, or Ross. Because believe it or not, guys, you can find great quality fragrances at a good price at these locations. Now, guys, today I ran across two milestone fragrances now i've been hearing and seeing uh some of the fragrances that people been finding at burlington and burlington is you know the uae fragrances are popping up i'm talking about sometime they get a a wave in and sometime it's dry and it seems like they're getting a wave in because today one of the locations I shop at, they had uh, a handful of, of UAE fragrances. And the two that I selected was Big Intense Bottle for Men. Now, as far as my understanding, guys, this is a clone to Boss Bottle Intense. Uh, I don't think I never smelt that one. I have a boss fragrance in my collection, uh, the scent EDT. That's the only boss fragrance I have in my collection. And what I say is this: in the opening, uh, I forget the notes. Let me grab a phone. I forget the notes on this one. Uh, but in the opening has a scent in it that kind of throws it off and makes it appears to be a little cheap fragrance but i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you this in a dry down that's where this fragrance becomes magical it, it, it transforms into something completely different in a dry down but i will say in the opening kind of almost made me say hey well you know me gonna take this one back to Burlington because he ain't smelling right. And I'm glad I kind of just just allow it to do what it do. And a few hours later, and that's how long it took for it to get to the to the, the dry down guys. It took about say about two and a half hours before I smelt the finished product. The dry down. So this thing really do go through its transitions from the top note to the bottom notes, the dry down. But let me see if I can pull up the, the notes on this fragrance. I'm sorry, let me get the presentation good because we didn't bypass the presentation and everything. Now, the presentation is kind of, you know, it kind of puts you in the mind of where they got the idea from, right? The cap is on there pretty good. Now, I have seen this. They have the classic and they have the intense. Uh, and I just realized this when I seen a video from my guy. Uh, I forget his channel, but he ran across the classic one. Uh, but the bottles, the cap is pretty good. And it's a solid cap. Now, this one does have that uh, pressurized atomizer. It 
So I think it's that apple note or something on top that kind of just throw me off. And this one is uh, EDP or that perfume. Let's see. Yeah, it is an Eau de Parfum. Okay. Now, it's not so much that it's a cheap scent that it gives off, but it's just that top note to me. Like I say, it might just be the apple, because if I'm not mistaken, one of the, the notes of top. All right, you know what? Let's go over the notes. Uh, your top notes are apple, orange blossom, which that might that might be the note that I'm picking up. That's kind of giving an off-putting smell to me or something. But those are the top notes. Apple, orange blossom. Middle notes are geranium, clove, cinnamon. Base notes are sandalwood, cedar, vetiver, and vanilla. Now, like I said in the dry down, guys, this is where this thing becomes magical. And the, the base notes are sandalwood, cedar, vetiver, and vanilla. I don't know if it's the vanilla and the sandalwood, which it probably is in the cedar, because it does become a little sweet, woody in the dry down. In the opening, I guess it's the, the orange blossom and the the apple that's blending in and this scent right here and it lasts for some hours to open it you don't you're not gonna on my skin I didn't reach that base note uh, the the dry down it's about two and a half hours later guys so this isn't so much a, a review on these fragrances because I haven't did any wearing. I did spray them on, both of them, to see how they smell after I purchased them. Uh, and this one right here, it seems like the performance on this one is going to be good. I think you, you, you might end up getting more than five plus hours with this one. And it was still sitting kind of heavy on my skin even at two and a half hours when it reached the, the dry down and I still smelt before I hopped in the shower so if you come across this guys and if you have smelt like I say I haven't smelt the, the boss bottle intense EDP that's something that I'm gonna have to do probably this weekend go see if I can find it and get a whiff of it and kind of try to compare the fragrances but if you have smelt that and it's a fragrance you enjoy and haven't seen it in a minute uh most of your boss fragrances i looked them up uh running anywhere if you getting them from your online discounters 75 65 dollars or so so but for 14.99 guys that's what i copped this one at and if you enjoy that scent DNA and you come across this one at Burlington, give it a try. And what the store that I bought this one from, you know, you can return fragrances at that location. All of them aren't the same. Uh, I went to some ones in different areas and they have a different return policy, whatever the case is behind that. But if you come across this fragrance and you try it, you don't like it, hey, take it back, get your money back. So, the second fragrance we're going to discuss is Element 03 plus Sandalwood. Now, if I'm not mistaken, guys, I think this is a clone to one of the Molecule fragrances. Uh, I haven't found one online that's plus Sandalwood anything. I found one that has the Gaiac wood in it, the Oud. And that one is the Element 01 with the Gaiac wood in it. And based upon the smell, I'm not getting the same thing. Now, let's go over the presentation first. This bottle, I like the presentation. When I seen the first thing I thought was a Molecule dupe, you know. I haven't smelled any fragrance from that line, so. I heard that they're good for layering and you know boosting other fragrances or whatnot. 
but this one is a unique smell. And I'm gonna tell you what it kind of put me in the mind of. It kind of put me in the mind of a Santal fragrance that I got. Uh, man, I forget the name of it. But that's what it kind of smells like to me. I don't know if it's the sandalwood in here or what, but this is an interesting fragrance and scent DNA. But this is the bottle. The cap is snug on this one. Uh, it is a EDP, Ode Parfum, and this is a 100 mil, 3.4 ounce. Yep. And this one also has a pressurized atomizer. Oh, I'm wrong, it don't. It has a good atomizer though. Spin out a lot of juice. I thought this one had a pressurized atomizer. Now the thing with this fragrance, this one stays the same. This one doesn't go in it through any transition. The scent that I smelt when I first sprayed it on is the scent that it had the whole time that it was on my skin. And like I say, it's something about this one. I couldn't stop. I just kept smelling this one. For some reason and I don't have any fragrances in my collection that, that has the scent profile uh, I think I did find the notes on this one too let me see yeah see it's just I can smell that one in there the big intense I don't even smell it in there right now okay the top notes on this fragrance is grapefruit, ginger, bergamot. Uh, the heart notes are water notes, sage, rosemary, and geranium. And your base notes are broxen, amber, and labdanum. Now, the funny thing is this. doesn't mention sandalwood in the note breakdown. So, I don't know if that's just a fragrance name or what. And I, I, I'm really not sure if these are the correct notes for this fragrance or not, guys, to be honest. Uh, it's off some website that carries uh, UAE fragrances. Uh, but the notes that I just, just, just read... I really don't pick up any grapefruit. Might be picking up some ginger. But citrus, I'm not picking up any citrus in this in this. Nor am I picking up any amber. But guys, if you come across this fragrance at Burlington. Same price, $14.99. Out of these two, uh, the dry down, this one right now, is pretty good. The opening, it was kind of, uh, you know, a challenge, I'd say. But I enjoyed the dry down on this one. This one right here, I enjoyed this fragrance from the initial spray on all the way through. Uh, out of these two, which one I suggest pick up if you was to come across it? This one right here. I say try the, the E Plus Element 03 Sandalwood. But I ain't gonna hold too much more of y'all time, guys. I just want to get on here and share these fragrances that I ran across at Burlington, you know, to give y'all a heads up and share what I think of these fragrances. And once I get some wearing in with these fragrances, uh, I most definitely do an update and, you know, an in-depth review on these fragrances uh, to let y'all know how they perform. And until next time, guys, you know, remember to get in the comment. Let me know what y'all think of these fragrances that I presented today on the platform. And if you have these, I come across these in your collection. Let me know what y'all think of them, guys. Uh, let us know. 
because we'd like to know. And if anybody know exactly which molecule this one is cloning, let us know in the comments, guys. Uh, so, like always, I appreciate y'all checking out the video. Please remember to like, get in the comment section, guys, and let us know what y'all thinking. Let me know what y'all thinking about these fragrances. You know, if you ain't came across them as well. And uh, share the videos, guys. Let's get this these numbers up and hit that like button. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.